Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is an old school hair tutorial video and I am so excited. I'm gonna show you guys three hairstyles that I've been wearing um, for the past few months. If you follow me, you know I've been quite on quite a hair journey. I have these tiny little hair, or tiny little bangs. So I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve my little curly hairstyle here. I'm gonna show you guys just like my classic bang look that I wear with my hair down. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you a slick back look. I've been doing a new slick back. I mean, everybody's doing the slick back look, but I definitely wanna share with you guys my tricks on that because I do have the bangs. So it's nice to know kind of just like my go-to hairstyles. And then I can get all your questions asked in one fell video, one fell swoop of a video. And um, yeah, this will be great. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. I'm gonna start with the slick back one first, just because it's probably the one I get the most questions about, mainly because I have little bangs. What really helps me out and makes it the easiest for me is having dirty hair. So I usually do a slick back look when I've had a few days of hair styling. Uh, so it is greasy, it has an actual, like, a natural grip to it, which I just find makes your life a lot easier when you're doing a slick back look. Plus, it's nice to not waste clean hair. Um, this is just such an easy, perfect, dirty hairstyle that like you should definitely use it when your hair is dirty. First thing I do is I section off this front bit of my hair. So like here, um, if it's a long strand, I throw it back. But basically wherever my bangs are, I just leave those out to begin with. And then I start gathering my hair up and where I want uh, the ponytail or braid or bun or whatever I'm doing that day to go. Then you take this brush and you smooth everything back. You see though, like how it immediately like gets rid of those bumps. And like I said, this would be so much more difficult if my hair was clean because it would fight this brush a little bit more. Um, because it has the oils, it just kind of lays so much nicer. Now that everything is brushed back, I can start brushing back my bangs. So this is just kind of like up to you. Some people like it way more straight. I kind of like to swoop it a little bit. So I'll go like here. And this is why I leave my bangs out, is because I can just make sure that that part here doesn't get lost and I can really focus on where I want my bangs to lay. Now this is the important step, the wax stick. So it has little hair remnants. Looks like this, I basically just run this over the bang part and the sides like this. Uh, I'll go in with hairspray in a second, but I'm gonna show you guys this root spray. This is just the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. Um, I think it's for grays technically, but I really like it for just like your hairline. Um, some days are better than others. Like some days I feel like I need it more than others. I'm normally a light, a lighter brown. This is medium brown, but it honestly reads pretty dark. So I've tried a couple ways to do this. I've tried just going how the directions say, but sometimes I feel like it can look a little unnatural and a little bit wonky in the hairline there. So especially because I'm not trying to go crazy with it, I'm just trying to fill out some of these areas. I know some makeup artists use like um, like an eyeshadow, which you totally can do, um, but this just works really well for me. So what I do is I just spray a little bit into this brush. And then I just comb over where I want to fill in. See, it just kind of does it very, very lightly. Seal it all in. That's my slick back initial bit. So I could leave it in a ponytail just like this. Um, I have definitely done like a bun, and that's what it looks like with the braid. Cute, simple, it's one of my go-to dirty hairstyle 
looks and just hairstyles in general especially right now in the summer heat it's so nice to get it out of your face so i really hope it was helpful especially especially those of you that have bangs or have shorter pieces here these products really work for me so obviously i know that can vary with hair textures but i really hope it works for you and i hope this overall was just helpful this next hairstyle i'm going to show you guys how i accentuate the curl and wave in my bangs uh, i've been doing this one a lot especially over the summer my little bangs they're growing out a lot now but before when they were like really micro bangs they kind of have like a natural wave slash curl to it especially when i sweat they get even more curly so on days where it's hot or on days i know i'm going to be outside and i just want to kind of accentuate the curls and not have to worry about like when i straighten my bangs if I sweat at all or they get wet like they will curl up my hair currently I washed it this morning put some curl cream in it and then I used a diffuser super simple very easy to use it just helps kind of enhance the wave and texture of my hair um, but my bangs because they are so little they always get a little crazy so I'm gonna show you guys how I curl them. There's not a system. I kind of just keep curling different ways until I like how it lays. So for instance, like this one, I'm gonna to curl towards my face like this. And I use the clamp for it just because I think it looks better. Um, so that's one. This one, I kind of like how it's laying here. So I'm gonna kind of just do this. Like I said, I kind of just go around my bangs and kind of move things, switch my hair, <laughs> switch the part, and just see what kind of like lays better, worse, and just kind of mess it up with my fingers. I don't want the curls to look super uniform, so like some I'll hold longer, some I'll let go. And what I like about the clamp is I can always you know do the whole wrap around or I can clamp it and it just kind of gives that like messy curly look that you guys have seen before <laughs> that I've seen me do before there you can kind of see the difference this kind of is just like flat and kind of just blah and then this is just like the curls are just a little bit more refined Once they're kind of curled to how I like them, I go in with a pomade. This is actually Patrick's, but men's hair products work really great for this stuff. Um, and I just use a tiny little bit. It's very like waxy and sticky, um, which is what I want to kind of give that like messy PC look. Also, the nice thing about these like pomades is that it gets rid of the frizz that can sometimes happen. that's how the bangs look I love when they kind of have like a greasy wet look to them I just think that they just look better that way and then normally with this type of hairstyle I like to pull it back so I'll do either like a half up and I'll just use a claw clip and just kind of go like that and then you know pull pieces down these sometimes I will bobby pin up but that's kind of like a little half up, half down situation, really simple. Or I'll just literally take a claw clip and throw it all up like this. I like when little pieces kind of fall out, like I'll just mess it up so it gives the whole look, cause you don't want this to look super polished and then you to have like really crazy curly bangs. So I'm kind of just keep it like a very messy updo. And that's it, very, very simple. Like I said, this is, my best friend when it comes to this hairstyle absolutely love it it just helps make everything look a little bit more refined uh, and it's one of my go-to's I just think it's so cute and it makes me want to keep these little bangs forever because I just love how the curly pieces frame my face I just think it looks so cute now this hairstyle is going to be my not every day but this is the one that I wear the most frequently it's my hair down I wear my bangs kind of straight and like swept to the sides uh, and just what you've been seeing a lot of recently. So I'm gonna share with you how I do it. I use the air wrap. Uh, this is, I use this the first day I wash my hair and then the rest is just kind of like touch up until it gets greasy and then I do the slick back. 
So I've shown you guys how I do this before, so I'm gonna air wrap most of my hair, uh, and then I'm gonna focus on showing you guys how I kind of perfect and like lay my bangs. Most of my head is done. Now we gotta do the bangs. I am just figuring this out because honestly, they just started to get semi long enough to blow dry um, because normally I wouldn't be able to blow dry, blow dry them like this. Uh, so I'm figuring this out. They're still pretty tiny, but this is, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. a little crazy bear with me it looks like this right now I'm gonna fix that but for right now I'm just gonna pin this while I blow dry the other side basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with this and kind of smooth down any pieces that are kind of flying away Once it looks like this, I'm gonna take this clip again and kind of clip this back while it's still warm. There's no real like time limit that I like leave these clips in. Normally I'd probably start my makeup now and my morning routine, um, but I'm just gonna leave them in for a few minutes until my hair is kind of cooled off and I feel like um, they're tamed down and then I will come back to kind of finish up the last bit. This side's done, this always is the easier side. I don't know, it's just like my hair lays really well on this side. Um, and then these bangs give me trouble. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more. You only need a tiny bit of like wax or pomade or whatever, you don't want too much. And then you know, like throughout the day, like they'll come forward a little bit. They're obviously growing like every day. So I feel like every week, every month, my styling of these becomes different. Like before I used to really focus them in the front. Now I'm kind of like pushing them more to the side. So it just kind of depends. That's it, that's the style. This is how I style my bangs. It's probably my go-to hairstyle as of late, just because I like wearing my hair down. I like, you know, embracing my bangs now that they are a little bit longer. But that's my video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if I should keep the bangs. They're growing so fast. So let me know if you like them in the comments below. I really hope this video was helpful and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Bye.